Doris in the Jumper Factory, a little booklet about Doris and how a cardigan is made in China. Doris was born in Gothenburg, spring 2007. This was a result of a common vision by Elizabeth and Tulis, the founders of the Swedish brand Jumper Fabriken. In June 2011, Doris made up her mind to return to China to discover more about her origin. Her journey began in Hong Kong, where she arranged to have a meeting with a woman who worked in a very tall building. After walking through many winding little streets and alleys, she finally arrived. Doris was taken up to the second floor, where a lady called Lisa was waiting for her. Lisa talked with great depth about the details behind Doris. Together they went through everything step by step. It turned out to be a pretty complicated chain of events with a great deal of paperwork. It was a most complicated journey with vast amount of information. So the two ladies decided it would be better to go and have a closer look at the factory itself. They went down to the pier and travelled by boat for an hour to the southern part of mainland China. They were picked up by Huang Pengsheng, who drove them into the countryside, deep into the luscious green landscape. Eventually, they turned up into a small road leading up to a little village, greeted by large signs advertising for experienced staff. In today's world, it is hard to find good workmanship in the area. Many of the younger generations had had enough of the countryside and instead moved into the fast-growing, prosperous cities. When they arrived, they were welcomed by Huing Hong Shi, who since 20 years back had been working in Win Fung Knitting Factory. He was the head manager for the whole factory and its 250 employees. Doris was now ready and curious to get going and to learn more about what is really happening between thread and body. The factory tour begins with Huang Han Shi. He is head technician behind the knitting recipes and his job is to create the right instructions for the knitting machines. Huang Han Shi is a master of calculation. Panel lengths are made according to the recipe that has been developed. A suitable thickness of yarn is chosen and the flatbed machines are threaded with the yarn which are knitted back and forward. It is important to get a good weight in order to give the yarn the right tension. This so it does not stretch too much or too little. Behind the knitting machine is Huang Sheng Kai who ensures that no loops jump out of the needle during the time that she steers the knitting wheel. The linking is one of the most crucial steps in the manufacturing. Each loop has to be put into the machine by hand. Hao Chang Chan does this skillfully. Now the panels have become a cardigan which may be put over arms and a back. A number of steps still remain. To sew on buttons is one of them. To make buttonholes and to take care of trimmings is the job of Lu Yong S. Ni Yung King thereafter cuts off the loose ends and threads and she makes sure each loop is where it should be. Each garment is then closely examined with the help of strong lit lamps. Everything that has been knitted will be washed to make certain that the shape will be kept. Doris is then ironed by hand by Yang Dong Hao and she has now reached her final shape. She is examined again one last time for any possible faults in the measurements or quality. She is packed down carefully by Chen Zhao De. The time at the factory is over. Doris sits down among a couple of boxes to rest a little. It is about time to go home. Home, to her new beloved's arms, 
where she will hopefully be treated with the love and respect that she so well deserves, year after year, together. To knit a garment is far more complicated than initially meets the eye. It is a journey that includes many hands, lots of yarn and much knowledge. And for that journey we are grateful. Our vision is to knit beautiful and comfortable garments of excellent design and high quality that will last year in and year out. Jumba Fabriken is today manufacturing at four places around the world, Sweden, Lithuania, Portugal and China. We work actively to make sure that our factories collaborate with good working conditions at all levels.